Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to our YouTube channel and welcome to this video. This is John from Programming Knowledge and this is part 12 of our PWA video tutorial series and in this video we're going to be adding the Firebase database and also we will try to configure it uh, within our project. But before we go any further with that, let's try to fix first um, the i just want to correct something from the last video we have added index.php here as you know as an option if the page go uh, goes offline now we don't have the index.php file because what we have here is index.html so we're going to change this this will be um eight uh html index.html right there so whenever the page go, goes offline, then we will try to redirect the, the user into the home page of our app, which is index.html, not PHP. Okay, so let's just save this and let's go to the index.html. We're going to add a few lines here inside this particular file, and that's... Um, for the configuration of our Firebase database because as you can see currently we're not uh, you know saving the we're gonna start this open with live server we're not saving actually the contacts so if we try to type in here uh, something and then number of the contact and add contact so there will be no contact added here and this particular um, record is we set this manually for now and also this one and um, what we want is of course to query this data coming from our database and also save information using this form and we're going to save the information into the database and right after that we're going to query all the, the contacts and display it right here okay so in order for us to do that, let's go to the um, Firebase. So this is uh, console.firebase.com. So we're going to be using this particular technology. And um, in here, we're going to create um, a database. So as, as you can see here, I have multiple um, projects created right here. But we're going to create a new one for our project. And this will be entirely for our contacts. So what we will do is click on this add project. And by the way, I, I'm going to put the link uh, in the description box below. So you can, you know, follow this particular link and you could create your own project. And this particular Firebase technology, guys, offers a lot of features where you can, you know, uh, add authentication to your application you could also have a real-time database you could also have or you could also you know host your files by using firebase but um, in this particular video tutorial we're going to be focusing on the real-time database so now let's create our project and we're going to name our project as pk or short for programming knowledge and then we're gonna have like contacts db there you go and let's click on continue well for now we're gonna we're not gonna use uh, analytics so we could disable this by um, clicking this particular button right here to disable the analytics for this particular project and of course right after that we're gonna have to click on the create project and we're gonna wait for a few seconds for the project to be created and there you go we now have our project ready so click on continue and so as you can see here we have the options like for for example the authentication so if we click on that we can see uh, different options also for um, log in or sign in into the application so for example you click on get started and we could authenticate our users 
for example by using email or password um, phone um, facebook twitter github or other accounts that you you might want to use for your application but for now uh, we're not going to use authentication for our application because what we want is to um, save only the contacts that we will be adding inside our application and this particular database guys we will be adding a feature that um, it should work also even if the application or the device itself goes offline so we're gonna have to add that um, functionality later on even if our database is currently sitting in um, in the cloud or uh, online um, we could also save the information locally and then later on if the internet connection is available then the information will be uploaded here inside our firebase database so now let's go to the um, real-time database as you can see here okay as I've said, we're going to use this particular feature, real-time database. We're going to store and sync data in real-time by using this particular Firebase feature. Okay, so let's go back to the project overview. And in here, we could add... So click on this particular um, option right here which is adding an application for the web so we have option for ios android and of course we have the web so click on that and we're going to register our application so for example we're going to name our application as contacts pk contacts and we're not going to set up firebase hosting for now so let just leave it as it is and then register app Okay, and we will be given this particular um, script or um, configuration script for our database. So all we have to do is copy all this information right here. So click on this and let's go back um, into our index.hml right here. And then right before adding different scripts right here, let's just um, paste um, the Firebase config um, script. There you go. So let's just indent this to make this a bit um, easy for the eyes. There you go. Now we have here the Firebase app right here, okay? And then um, I think we could also use the Firestore. Instead of, of real-time database, we could also use the Firestore. So what we could do is copy and paste. Copy this particular line and paste it right below. And instead of Firebase app, we're gonna, we're gonna change this into Firebase Firestore. Okay, so we now have two lines here. The one or the first one is for the Firebase app, and the second one will be for the Firebase Firestore.js file. Now, what we could do is below this line, Firebase that initialize app, we could add here. Um, you could declare a const. And then we're going to name this db equals to firebase dot firestore. There you go. Firebase dot firestore. So we're going to uh, use this particular const right here all throughout our application. So for example, when we're saving information, when we're deleting information coming from our database. So now let's go back to the Firebase um, database. So for now, let's just continue to console. And as you can see, we have here also the option, um, the cloud 
Firestore, right? So you could click on that. And this is one of the feature of the Firebase, uh, you know, that you could use a or you could save information. And this is some sort of a database. So for now, let's just click on the create database inside the cloud Firestore, create database. And then we're going to have to start from test mode right here. Click on that and click on next. Okay. And then you have to choose uh, any location you want. So if, for example, you want to use um, um, US West or Asia East or something, doesn't matter. So enable. And um, let's just wait for a few seconds. Okay, and then we could create our own collection right inside this particular Firestore database okay okay so this is what we have for now and right here we could click on the start collection so of course what we're trying to collect is contacts so we will name that collection as contacts right there and then click on next okay and of course, we could um, add here some information. For example, um, the field will be name. And for example, we're going to have to add John Doe right here. And then the second one will be contact number. Okay. And then just random number right here for now. And then we could click on this. We could populate on this, right? This one. And we could, you know, add text to that. But for now, let's just use this particular option, automate or auto-generate the ID. And then click on save information. So that will be the first information for our contacts collection right here. So I think that's all there is to it, guys, in this particular video. And in the next video, we're going to be implementing this particular database inside our application so in this video we uh, configured we have added firebase database inside our application and you know copy also the configuration files or configuration script and then we uh, initialize our cloud firestore database so in the next video we're gonna implement that so for example if we want to add contacts or if you want to delete contacts inside our fire uh, firestore database here in firebase okay so thank you for watching guys and see you in the next video